Today I'm showing you how to load, manage, and play with configs for any client in Minecraft. Obviously right now I have Horizon enabled inside of Minecraft, but it works just about the same for any client in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. First off, I'm going to show you how you can actually put your configs in the config folder and stuff like that. And once I've done that, I'll show you how to manage them inside of Minecraft. If you want to skip a certain part, you should be able to find that in the chapters in the description as well as the time bar. So on my desktop over here, I have this imaginary config I made. Basically this file, and I'm going to be showing you how you can put it into Minecraft in theory. Um, you can download configs anywhere on the internet, stuff like that, find one you like. Of course, watch out with downloads, obviously, right? Um, hold on, let me show you guys this. If you want to make sure, like, here's a massive red flag. A config should always have a name just like this, and then have the file name extension .h. At least it does for Horizon and I think most other clients too, or .json actually. If the extension is not .h or .json or something, if it is something like .exe, it's obviously a virus, right? Um, configs are very often viruses, watch out with that stuff. Anyways, you want to press on Windows and R at the same time, and then in the little box, type in app data, just like so, then hit enter or click on OK. That's going to open up this folder right here. Then you want to actually go into local. You might need to scroll down a little until you find the folder that's going to be called packages right here. And then in here, you want to find the folder called Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. If you can't find it, you can, of course, also use the search function. Anyways, in here, head into roaming state right there. And then here you should find some clients that you have actually injected before. In my case, it's these three. It might be more for you. Anyways, basically, I can go into Prax as an example, and here I have a config folder, and I can just drag my imaginary config, in this case, right into that config folder, and then I'm going to be able to load it inside of Minecraft, which, of course, I'm going to show you in a second how to do that. Um, not sure why it's telling me that. I literally made this file myself. Anyways, um, basically that. If we go back over here, you'll find Horizon as well or in my case you will. Um, for Horizon it's different and for, for Horizon you just save the configs right over here. You can just drag them in like so into this folder and you're good. Um, stop please. Anyways for some clients I can't name any at the top of my head right now. You might actually have to go to new and then make a config folder just like so and then once you've done that you can drag in the config just do that if you're trying to load a config for a client and dragging it into this folder doesn't work and there isn't a config folder by default doing that might actually make it work anyways here's also something pretty cool you have in Horizon the default.h which is basically the default config if you open this up it just shows you all the default settings which I don't know maybe it's cool basically that um anyways you can check those out if you want to basically that's how simple that is once you've of course loaded dragged your config file into here somewhere you can just load up minecraft so here inside of minecraft you obviously want to get to loading and using these configs for that we can open up the chat if you don't know you can type in dot help and that's going to give you a list of all the commands here we'll also find the config command i can type in dot config if i actually spell it correctly of course dot config just like this and it is going to tell me the exact usage or basically how to use it you can do that as well if you need it as you can see there are three options so dot config and then you can either choose to load to make a new config or to save your current configuration i can for example use dot config save and then whatever i want what do i want to call this one please subscribe i'm not sure if you can put spaces in there probably not so it would probably have to be something like this anyways please subscribe um basically that's how you can use that of course you can also make new one or you can actually load one and then the load one this is the part where you have dragged one into the config folder right and then you use dot config load and then you type in the name of the config which i think was this wow i'm 
messing up my typing basically you get the idea it's really that simple once you've loaded the config um, you should just have the custom configuration inside of the menu which is the other button <laughs> right over here um, and you should be able to find that in these customization menus as well you can of course edit a config if you wish to do so and then you can save the edited version obviously once again using dot config and then save anyways basically um that was that if you do have any questions or stuff like that do feel free to leave those down in the comments below but for right now thank you ever so much for watching and i do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.